Everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording session of Hearthstone. Let's see, what are we gonna trade first? I do this every day. Every freaking day we trade out the quest for potentially more expensive ones. Although this one didn't help. But we've got a good overlap here. Even though it didn't get us any more gold, we can play two games with the warlock here, three games with the warlock here, and do a hundred damage to the hero and be done. The only other thing we have to worry about is not this, but this button. We are at rank 21 in our best mode of standard, and we want to get to rank 19 of standard and others, and wild. And we have this tavern ball to do too, so. Spider spiders everywhere, you run into everything. Uh, whatever class you play, the deck will be teaming with web spinners. Good, fun. So I just need to click Warlock here. And hopefully we'll eventually win here. <laughs> so, I have been... It is, well, let's start at the beginning. It is the 5th of May, so of course we're going to talk about yesterday being Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Also, yesterday is actually International Firefighters Day, too, which uh, I've recently come to realize we desperately, desperately as a video game industry need more firefighter games. Games where you play as a firefighter. It's such a good idea. It's amazing that I've only found one game I can think of, and then maybe there's some really preschool level games where you play as a firefighter, but I, I, I have a tendency to think if it's one of those preschool games and on their own separate uh, toy things, that I don't even count those in the world of uh, actual video games worth mentioning. They are video games, I'm just saying they're usually so badly made and such ripoffs in price. Uh, I'm not inclined to talk about them. Speaking of things that aren't ripoffs, though, uh, I'll get back to Star Wars in a second. Uh, I have discovered the Humble Bundle, which is a stupid thing to say because the Humble Bundle has been around for a long time, and I've sort of known about it. I knew it exists, but I did not make that connection because I knew it existed so long ago before I was making Steam uh, uh, playing PC games that it didn't make a lot of sense to, uh, for me to pay any attention to it. They just put out a patch where you could finally craft these this guy with uh, dust because that was going to be a pain having to make two legendaries to get that this character so once I get some dust I probably will make him um, I wonder. do one damage to a random enemy I'll do that and then that and then I'll do this Job done. Uh, So yeah, I, the connection just didn't make it in my head. So now I can, it seems like a good deal. It's hard to tell, because like when you're getting 95% off or 80% off a game on Steam, it is possible some games that are really bad will be 50 cents. It is definitely, uh, something along that line, but if it's a good game, if it's even a decent game, uh, you're going to be spending like two dollars on something, whereas a Humble Bundle may get you a game for a dollar or less. It's kind of a tough calculation actually. I wasted that card I had. I've come to realize this. So, here. 
here. Here. One. Two. And three. Job done. Just keep this guy in the middle, that's the best strategy. Uh, so, the, the problem with the humble bundle that's going to come about is I will s quickly, 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 I'm going to build up my Steam library. It's already past the point where I can really keep any list. I, so, I'm looking at this second humble bundle I've already bought one. And then the first one, I did already get one extra code. And this is certainly the thing where people are like, I've got all these extra codes to things and nothing I can do with them. Um, if I had more viewers, I would have thought to, uh, to put it out there. Uh, I guess on Twitter, that's what I need to start doing. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take this, this insanity. Job done. Um, yeah, it's not something I would be consistently doing. I'm certainly not gonna start a procedure in which I give away Steam codes on Twitter or something like that, but if I continue down the humble bundle path and it makes sense still to taunt gain for each beast you have, beast, beast, beast. So I can play this, I can play this. go. Kill that. Here we go, Godzilla. <laughs> I don't see why I shouldn't win now. Oh, this minion takes damage, double its attack. So play this, then play this, and it we may have a full victory set. Play this. Play this. Play this. This guy's got charge. Nice. Put this out there, put this out there. End the turn. Next turn I play this. And there's enough characters on the board, so it, it won't, almost certainly won't do 9 damage. Uh, so I want to hit this guy a lot. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. Amazing. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Let's do this. I guess I need to draw a card, don't I? <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to start doing Humble Bundles, it's, there's a Humble Monthly thing too that, that is offering Mad Max for $12 a month and I'm like, you know, that would be cool, but I have to be very precise here too. Uh, the problem would be buying a bundle for $10 and $12 and then having all of the uh, cards, all of the, 
all the games already. So, so I need to be very precise there. Let's do this. Alright, so let's talk about Star Wars then. I was no actually way. looking to buy Star Wars The Force Unleashed on Blu-ray during May the 4th. Uh, sadly, it wasn't really on sale. Except for the Best Buy Steel case that you had to go to the store and I was like, forget that, that's not worth it. Uh, I was hoping it would have gone on sale at Amazon. Lost. That sucks. But that's not a big problem. We'll, we'll get this done. Uh, I was watching the Lego The Force Unleashed video game. Very interesting first look there of uh, what they're doing. They've, they've got sections now in it that are cover-based shooters. The, uh, the enemies can now build things out of Legos, which is revolutionary and amazing that they hadn't thought of that. Uh, or, or I hadn't even thought of that as a missing element from Lego video games. They made so many of them. Uh, what's weird about the Lego video games now is that, uh, that they're getting close to running out of, um, I'm saying, uh, all the time. They're getting close to running out of properties that, to cover. They need to go back and fix some of them. Like, Lego Batman 1 could be remade. I'm covering right now Lego Lord of the Rings, and it is awful. It is an awful, awful Lego game. Uh, Personally, I kind of feel like let the Lord of the Rings was the wrong story for them to cover anyways. It's a little violent, it's a little long, and it's a little badly written, it seems like. But then I haven't read, read the books or watched the movies, and they were able to make movies and books from it, so... It's how bad it could, could it really be. I'd love to see a Lego Chronicles of Narnia, that would be a good one. And if they if they really are gonna start pandering, there's a ton of youth, adult, young adult novels that are garbage, but they can make movies from them, so they could probably make games from them. The one concern I have with the current setup of Lego Episode Seven. Uh, the Force Awakens is some of the cover based shooting stuff and some of the puzzles are starting to go into a new generation of understanding of how video games work and it's pulling a little bit away from a classic very easy to play uh, any kid who even a kid who's never seen a computer game before in their life are supposed to be able to figure out how to play that. Uh, play those games. And just a slight concern. A tiny, tiny concern there. Job done. Why am I drawing new cards for web spinners? I don't know. But I don't think it's a big deal. I think the next generation of video game players of kids are going to understand it just fine. It looks great. It is so full of puzzle and Lego stuff. They are doing the new Lego depiction, which is the Lego pieces look a little bit more cartoony, more shiny, glossy. Uh, they're not going to get away from that. Uh, so it's something I just have to learn from. But After you summon a minion, give it plus one, plus one. Okay. This is a moon done. Uh, so that looks good. The I believe if I'm understanding the story, the company that was making Star Wars thirteen thirteen, which was gonna be an action adventure game and then it got cancelled, announced that they're making a new Star Wars game. So there's a lot of hope that it is revisiting the thought of 1313. And it only got cancelled, cancelled, 
in in that Star Wars moved from being a George Lucas or a LucasArts property to a uh, to a Disney property. So Disney kind of put the kibosh on everything for a short time, and so that this may very well be the bringing back of that. Uh, new horror game is has been announced. Game announcements don't really. I don't think I'm gonna talk about it anymore. I look at them, but it, if they're not announced in half a page on Steam, which seems to be a 50-50, some people will announce their game and have that that page on Steam ready for to add to a wish list the day it's announced. Some people don't have a page on Steam until a lot later, and my only prompting to check it on Steam is that during its announcement, or when its release date is announced, or when its release date is inevitably pushed back, which is a problem that uh, I'm suffering. I'm very disappointed with Dishonored 2 pushing back their release by like six months. Just from a personal point of it's really messed up my uh, it has really, really messed up my my intended release schedule. Put that one down. Hit this. Hit this. So yeah, Dishonored 2 is not coming out till November 11th. I've already recorded and aired that series, and there's nothing I can do to really re-promote. Sadly. If I had the money to host, I'd make my own YouTube website, and this is ridiculous because nobody would know to go to that website or go to that website, but I'd make my own website where I could just re-promote uh, th the stupid... Let's see... I just want to promote the dumb... <laughs> videos I've already made. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's early in the morning for me. You can tell I'm, I'm having a terrible time getting my head straight. Uh, what else? What else? There's a new Star Wars game announced. No, that was the same Star Wars name game announced, I believe. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if there are three or four Star Wars games coming out in the next few years. I doubt any of them will be Battlefront S, though. <laughs> Since that didn't really work too well. So as long as I have this guy, I might as well play this. And I can't do this one now, so we'll do this. And this. And... Not this. We'll do this. Alright. So we have that minion a turn to get ready. Who can attack this guy? This guy will give minions plus two plus two every time, so we can do it again. Otherwise, we'll do this. And then return. Destroy a minion, restore three health. Destroy a demon, restore five health. I don't have demons or minions. I don't think I can get any. So I don't think it becomes worthwhile to to continue drawing cards. I 
could destroy a minion. Restore. I talk about the other sales I got. I think I did a decent job on sales for May the 4th. I have tons of Star Wars games uh, and I have set that as May the 4th. This is kind of my first celebration ever of May the 4th and I'm not a super Star Wars fan and I never probably will be but I bought a big collection, there's like three collections of Star Wars, there's the Star Wars collection, then there's the X-Men vs. TIE Fighter collection, and then there's, um, this is, this is gonna kill everybody, isn't it? Interesting, why did it not kill him whenever another minion takes damage to destroy it? Uh, So, so yeah, I got the Star Wars collection, I got the Tex Murphy collection, which is a whole nother set of point and click adventures to go through, which firms up that time slot for point and click adventure games, probably into 2019, if I was to guess. Um, uh, I don't see any real reason why I should go for a two doubled up the time slots of point click adventures though because it, they don't come out that often. Uh, I wonder. The current humble bundle I'm thinking about getting and almost certainly going to get, although the question now is do I go for the $10 tier and get one more game or right now I can spend just a $5.04 to get six out of the seven games and that might be the better move spending another five dollars for a game even if the game traditionally is at uh, is at twenty dollars because I checked on Steam it still doesn't really make a lot of sense because it's also a sequel and I don't have a prequel so why would I spend five dollars now I'm not that rich as far as my budget, or <laughs> heck, as far as reality, I'm not that rich. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And that's gonna solve that problem. And then I'm gonna attack. And then I'm gonna attack. And then turn. So, so yeah, probably doesn't make a lot of sense to do this. To do the humble bundles right, I assume I, I need to get into them um, as soon as they start so that the above average price to get the second half is, is cheap. Trying to stay every month adding games is probably a silly idea, but it's the idea I have. Um, I may be sorely disappointed. I may very easily be setting myself up for disappointment when what happens when the summer sale comes out and the Job Steam done. summer sale comes out in a few weeks, about six weeks, and then all the games I could have gotten are going to potentially uh, be even cheaper. But also, I can't put my entire inventory of games on that one sale. Although I kind of should because I have plenty of games. That's not my problem right now. My problem is finding time to finish them. And that's what I'm trying to do is find time to finish Lego Lord of the Rings. And then I'm going to play Shadow of Mordor because it's a game I haven't played. I should have watched the Lord of the Rings movie. Just to be honest here, 
Like, should I draw another card? No. Hmm. I guess I should. Give me another web singer out there. Up. I just simply don't have the. I don't own the movies. I don't think they're on Netflix, and I don't have the time to spend nine hours. There's certainly things that happened in the story that I was completely unaware about, but for the most part, I, I knew what was the general story. I'm gonna lose again. Maybe not. Maybe if. <laughs> <sighs> what to do, what to do. Alright, we can go ahead and silence this guy. That does nothing. We could play this. And we could play this. I should have played that. This guy's gonna summon a 1 1 spell, anyways. Hmm. End the turn. Not making a lot of progress here. In a couple different ways. Astonishing! I spent last recording talking a lot uh, about the intro and outro. I've done some slight, a minimal more about about thinking about it, but frankly, it's a year off. I will, speaking of a year off, I, I have thought to myself and put on the list that May the 4th will be an, an announcement, like, same as I liked the Happy Cinco de Mayo video today, since I had already made that, it's something I'll like, and I'll probably every other year try to make, at, at the minimum every other year make a new one, or get a new one made by my artist. Well done. Um, doing. The light but shall bring victory. I did Your try to think, how can you do mine. a single um, day celebration more and more appropriate than just that. And the only thing I can think of for like the May, May the 4th is just play an entire Star Wars game. Like a 30 hour Star Wars game. Have that scheduled to air starting at midnight and then ending, uh, ending at midnight. Just like 24 hours every 30 minutes a new video comes out of of footage. Um, that would be rather somewhat difficult to set up. Uh, first of all, you're, you have to take the perspective that's usually 30 videos is a month's worth of work. So you're putting an entire month's worth of footage out in one day. So not entirely objectionable to do that if you're super far ahead. If I'm a year ahead and I'm just making footage after footage after footage and I'm just gonna play an old Star Wars game, like I said, I have a ton of them. I really only wanna play two of them. I wanna play The Force Unleashed and The Force Unleashed 2. That's the only Star Wars games I wanna play besides Lego Star Wars games. Uh, so... From that perspective, if, if I was a year ahead, if it looked like there would be no problems whatsoever, that could be a whole marathon that day. Now, when you translate that from the 4th of May for Star Wars to the 5th of May, since of the Mayo, not a ton of games there that I could really decide to create, use as a thought. I could certainly do like there's one called guaco guacamole that is 
kind of Mex it's Mexican wrestler themed so that would make sense uh, there's one made by a Mexican video game programmer that uh, has some themes that way I could do that but let's see I really can't think of even a third game so that two years I could marathon there uh, when you start talking Christmas there's a big holiday. What do you do on Christmas? How many Christmas themed games are there? Not a lot of cr good Christmas themed games. There might be some terrible Christmas themed games. Uh, so, you could do maybe a handful there. Easter, there's no Easter games, oddly. You'd think you could have done an Easter egg hunt or two. Uh, and I say there's no games like that, and there's almost certainly are. It's just not a big ticket game that costs money that is on Steam type game. So, what is probably the situation between this battle here is it's, it's simply who can hit the face fastest. We have almost exactly the same card. Um, other holidays like 4th of July uh, for America. Maybe you could do a World War II game there. Maybe you could do a Civil War game if there were any. Uh, I'd I'm just gonna draw here. Draw the power of this guy up to hit the face. Job done. So we got 14, 15, 16 going on here, and 11 here. So we're racing. How do you, he got a second one? Dude, destroy a friendly minion and, and deal damage equal to everybody. I think. I think this will work. Done. Well, with King Crush, I may have lost here. Unless I do crush, which I can't. This, 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 and I've lost. So I might as well draw and stick another one here in the turn. Oh, these tavern brawls. If I didn't have to do these tavern brawls for that one pack, uh, I would be playing standard a wild here. I think that would have been a better thing if they could have figured out some way to say, oh, we're going to get rid of the so you don't have to play them, or we're just going to give you gold instead of it, so it's not really worth it, or something like that. I mean, any way you do it, you're going to upset some people, but this game has gotten so crazy. So it turns out Battleborn might be kind of fun, although... Some people, it, I've heard 50-50, I've heard two people, one, one says they don't understand quite why, but they, they're, they're having fun with Battleborn, and one one person who said that, uh, well, both of which are video game reviewers, who said that they, they didn't really see anything they liked there. Uh, 
And then I heard that Pin Gillette, the magician, is going to is being modeled as a character uh, for one of the Battleborn fighters, and you can take that with a grain of salt because Pin just makes stuff up half the time. I don't think he intentionally does it, I just think he's not always quite with reality. But it's, it is a believable rumor that he is friends with Randy Pitchford, the creator of Gearbox Software, and Gearbox Software is doing a remake of Pendulette's game Desert Bus, which is a joke of a game. Uh, because it actually is a joke of a game, it's a game we designed to be unfun. Deal two damage on non-demon min. Alright. We'll do that. So I think getting the first few hits in is what you really need to do for this tavern brawl. Uh, I like the art style of Battleborn. I love that trailer that looked like a Pixar movie of Battleborn. I would love to see more of that. I mm. don't really have any desire to play Battleborn right now. Uh, mostly because I think it is it is competitive. And I the last thing I want in my life is more competitive things. I simply just don't want that. I don't want uh, this isn't having a fight with people who are going to be way better at playing video games than me. That's why I that's why I still am going to eventually get back to playing Borderlands and have fun with it because Borderlands is just fighting the AI. And that that's the part that I'm like, okay, I can deal with that. This We'll get them all yeah. out. Uh, Overwatch. Am I am I confusing Battleborn with Overwatch? Yes, I am. It's Overwatch that has the Pixar intro, and Overwatch that has the cool animations. Uh, yeah, I'm totally confusing it. Oops. <laughs> well. Then Overwatch is the one I would love to see, like a cartoon or something of, and but I don't really want to play Battleborn in, in a lot of ways. I guess I'm not even that up on. And then there's another one too. There's way too much competitive things, and it, it's getting crazy. Uh, 2016 was gonna potentially be a crazy year. Nintendo, however, is helping a little bit with that by not releasing anything at all <laughs> ever uh, uh, yeah Nintendo's not going to release anything in 2016 pretty much they're probably not going to show anything in E3 besides Zelda uh, Zelda is what they said it was the only playable de demo and it's coming out with the NX and so yep Nintendo's imploding and in a lot of ways as a PC gamer now having spent most of my youth as a complete and total Nintendo fanboy just super obsessed with it. I have a huge collection of Nintendo stuff. Uh, the truth is, I kind of wish Nintendo would make some drastic changes, and I would include up to 
Nintendo going out of business, being purchased by another video game company that knew what to do with their property, and, uh, and decided to This is going to be interesting. Let's see, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to attack here, attack here, attack here. Then I'm going to end my turn. I'm almost out of time. Yeah. It's only the Nintendo games that I, I now care, care about, and it's only those games that I want to see on PC. And so, since they seem to show no indication that they're all on the PC, it's, it is this real weird situation where I'm just kind of rooting for them to fail. some other person some other company what company that would be because in, in honesty if if Nintendo failed and some other company bought them out it would probably be like Ubisoft EA Activision some company that would just treat the properties even worse at the very least Nintendo Whoops. is respectfully not using its product as just a garbage thing the best thing I could think of, and it's still a pretty uh, bad thing, would be for it to um, go to like Disney. Let's see. What do I want to do here? This guy? And then this guy. Let's see. This guy. Job done. And then in the turn. Well, that sucks. I don't think his plan worked as well as he had hoped. Here we go. This. And then kill this. And then play this. And then deal this. I think I'm gonna win here. <clears throat> yeah, it, since we've seen Disney, even though it's a huge mega corp that should be broken up, since we've seen them handle the Star Wars uh, properties correctly, I suspect that a Disney would know how to handle like releasing Nintendo games properly. That's the best hope, and it's a terrible hope. So, I guess what we have to just be happy with is just be happy with what we've got, and that's it. So, I assume this is going to be like Ice Block. Nope. 
Good. Good. Done with that. Yep. <laughs> so that's one victory. And we can go ahead and open the pack. By the way, my single pack opening video that was a joke. Not a lot of views. Uh, I screwed up too. I had this as the favorite. I wish I had had the default card backs as the favorite when I had done that recording. But no, it, it really hasn't gotten any views at all, which is fine. I mean, I was simply, I was really joking. <laughs> I didn't get really any cards of any real note. Do I have any gold cards that I can make? I need to desperately start crafting classic cards. It's pretty obvious that classic is what we're in need of. Let's see. Here's a, I do have a golden card I can turn into dust, I guess. Where is it? Where is it? So, as far as the reward cards that have been now fixed, we can now craft this once we have 400, and I, it's a epic too, so I guess I could have two of them. Interesting. So like these reward cards, not as important as the classic cards as far as crafting. That's really where I need to spend all my dust. I need every single one of these, two of these, uh, because this is the base at which all card decks are going to start. And the longer I'm missing things like Lowaka Cho, the longer I'm going to have trouble. And there's a significant amount of legendaries I'm, I still don't have, not as many as I had thought, but yeah. So, we may also make a 58 pack pack up video at some point, and just get 50 classic packs, and try to get those cards that way. Well, that's going to be it for this recording, we'll play a little wild and, and standard, I bet, in ranked mode next recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.